this image? Getting up close and personal. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly what you <laughs> I know. <laughs> who's co-founder and CEO of Freederm Systems. Can you say like a little bit what Freederm Systems is? Yeah, so we basically have built a really good camera for skin lesions and skin rashes and other concerns you might have about your skin. Uh, and we take those images at primary care and we send them over to remote dermatologists. They make a quick assessment like, oh, this looks really bad, I want to see this patient immediately. Or most of the time they actually say, this looks fine, you know, get this checked out in a few months if it doesn't go away. And the idea is that by doing this for all patients that are about to be referred to derm, uh, that we can expedite all the patients who need to go and then keep the patients at primary care if it's just like a not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking on the phone with the three nerve system team, so Electra, who's actually standing behind the camera right now. She was saying how I think the average wait time is like 33 days for a dermatology appointment. Yeah, and that's nationwide, which I mean, to get 33 days, most patients would say you're lucky. Yeah. I mean, Boston the average is <laughs> probably um, way more. It, than like that. upwards of like two and a half months. They were showing me right before this kind of the, what do you call that, where you look it's through? It's the 3D view of a lesion. So the way that we take an image of the skin is that we take it with a left and a right eye camera. So it, it basically looks, you're like seeing a patient in person because your eyes have the left and the right eye perspective and then your brain uh, puts that information together into what we would consider like a 3D view. Mm -hmm. So the VR boxes that we use, which are basically like virtual reality viewers, uh, it's kind of like a, a trick almost with the camera in order to get your eyes to think that you're looking at a 3D image. You can see the system is behind us, which is pretty cool. It's two parts, hardware and software. Yeah, so this is just a tablet. So our software runs on this so that it's easy to just select whatever you want when you're imaging a patient. Uh, and it's connected to our, this is the Freedom device that takes the 3D images. We also have a modified iPod camera over here to take some of the overview and chromatoscopic pictures. We want to do a real demo on one of my molds. Do you, um, do you have them? I have a bunch, but oh, I actually... Great. Could you use one of those? Will these count? Yeah. Okay, okay. sure. All right. So we'll start with, uh, we can go through the patient list. So you guys can see what we're assessing. <laughs> uh, so this is pulling in the list of patients from a particular clinic. So we'll say that maybe you're Maureen O'Hart. But it'll ask some basic questions like, has the patient had skin cancer? Do they have family history of skin cancer? Uh, and because this is a patient who's pulled from the system, we already have some of that um, inputted there. So then there's a chance to enter any modifications to the allergies, meds, or additional history. Just hit modify. At this point, we get to choose what we want to image. So because it's that mole, I'm going to hit spot. And it's on your left our arm. Yeah. So we'll put it here. That part doesn't need to be exact. We're really just trying to give the dermatologist some context of where on the, the body the spot might be. All right, so now we ask questions specifically about that spot. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you know when it first appeared? Probably birth, I'm not sure. All right, um, has it changed in appearance? Not to my knowledge. All right. Um, does it itch, bleed, or have a discharge? No. All right. And is it raised? No. Uh, if it's raised, we ask if it's hard, spongy, or soft. Okay, so yes, and I would say soft. All right. So uh, this would be space to put in any other notes that you might okay. uh, want to put in. And then the next part, based off what questions you answered, it'll now basically ask you to take a set of images of this skin condition. Cool. So the first one we're going to take is just a 3D you image. You can see on the screen? Yeah. Alright, so this image. Getting up close and personal. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly what you want. <laughs> I know. Okay. So then we'll hit accept. And then the next image that we take, because um, this is a pigmented lesion that we um, might think is skin cancer, we're going to take a dermatoscopic image. We'll hit accept. And then the last one we're going to take today is just an overview image. So this is to look for other things on your skin that might look similar to give the dermatologist some context. Reference. So, mm -hmm. All right, 
sorry. And this device is talking. That was quick. Yeah. So <laughs> this device is talking to this. It tells you that you're done. So you hit complete. And then if you maybe you also have like a rash on your back that you would want to image mm -hmm. We're not going to do that. That's the extended version. Okay. I'll link that below And then it uploads it gives you the success screen so that if I was the medical assistant at primary care I would know I'm done and then I would wheel this on to another patient. What made you want to create this? Yeah, I mean uh, both my co-founder and I have a uh, family history of skin cancer and I think that's definitely something that motivated us to look into the space to begin with. Mm -hmm. We also had both, weirdly enough, done uh, dermatology research in high school, independently. I mean, very, that is weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, very unrelated to what we now do at 3Derm, but we knew a little bit about the, the dermatology space. Uh, and we had been working on other 3D imaging medical device projects um, right before we started 3Derm. So we kind of merged all the interests together. If you guys want to learn more, you can go to 3derm.com. They're actually hiring right now too, so I'll put that all in the description below and then follow them on social media too at 3derm.